Well, let's stay with that story now and talk to Holly Dagres, who is a fellow at the Atlantic Council and is an analyst on Iran. Holly, thanks for joining us here on BBC World News. This is such a huge tragedy, isn't it, for Iran? Absolutely. I mean, this is uh, something that's been sending ripples, not just for Iranians within Iran, but Iranians that are living in the West. Um, I know several people myself that have had one or two degrees of separation with people that had lost their lives on the flight. And more importantly, the brilliant minds on this um, in this tragedy, some of these people were academics, doctors, scientists. And so it's just been a huge loss, not just for Iranians, but people in the science and academia world as well. Now, the Iranian government has come out and said, look, you know, the military are to blame for this. But we have seen some signs of a little bit of blame being shifted on the US already. Yes, we saw Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif um, send out a tweet saying that this was in part because of the U.S. hostilities that had happened since IRGC Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani was assassinated last week. But the truth is, it was an Iranian missile that took down this passenger plane, and and it was also Iran that did not shut down its air for, um, excuse me, its um, airspace. So uh, to point fingers, the reality is it is Iran's fault that this happened. What are Iranians thinking right now, do you think? What's the reaction in Iran? Will they be angry at their government? Well, I think there's a lot of shock and anger. Um, I, I think of the two things that are right now happening is that Iranians want to see those that have been whitewashing what's happened have to be hold, held accountable and for them to step down. They're also asking the bigger question, which is what I just mentioned. Why was Iranian airspace not shut down? Why in this time where Iran had just fired missiles at Iraqi ba bases, why hours after the fact were passenger planes allowed to take off from Iranian airports? And what about America? Of course, we haven't yet, I don't think, heard from President Trump uh, since the admission by the Iranians. Do we expect, do you think, to hear from President Trump at some point? Um, there's a, always a possibility. We had seen initially that um, U.S. President Donald Trump say that intelligence was referring that there was this possibility that missiles had taken down this passenger plane. But I, I could actually see U.S. President Donald Trump perhaps taunting on Twitter that it was Iran's fault and look what you did. So uh, there is always that possibility in this time of, of tensions, unprecedented tensions between the United States and Iran. And what of those tensions? What now do you think? What is the next move? Do you see de-escalation now? Because there has already been a few signs of that. I think this is more of a pause in the de-escalation. But any wrong mood, any wrong comment could send this um, pause to play again and every and we could be seeing more momentum in the near future. Um, I think what's more important here is that the international community, especially countries like Britain, France and Germany, come out and try to push for diplomacy between these countries before it gets out of hand. Okay, Holly, it's so good to have you on the programme. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.